As dawn breaks, our day begins in a whirlwind. Grabbing a quick bite, brushing to work, dropping kids off at school. Amidst this routine, a small ritual persists. The daily medications. A silent pledge for a longer, healthier life. Statins, like Lipitor, are a cornerstone in this modern health routine, hailed for their power to fend off heart disease. But how well do we understand the benefits they promise? Statins are renowned for their role in the battle against high cholesterol, linked to heart attacks and strokes. Among these, Lipitor, or Atorvastatin, stands out for its bold claim of reducing heart attack risks by 36%. But to truly grasp what this number means, we must first understand the difference between absolute and relative risk. Imagine two groups of 100 people. In one group, taking a placebo, two people have a heart attack. In the other group, taking the real drug, one person has a heart attack. The absolute risk reduction is 1%. But the relative reduction is 50%. It's a simple math trick, but one that makes a world of difference in how we perceive effectiveness. Lipitor, brought to us by Pfizer, burst onto the scene with the promise of a 36% reduction in heart attack risk. But delve deeper and the numbers tell a different story. In the original five-year trial, 1.9% of Lipitor users had heart attacks, compared to 3% in the placebo group. A difference, yes, but not the groundbreaking revolution we were led to believe. Breaking down Lipitor's claims, the absolute risk reduction is a mere 1.1%. When we talk about relative risk, that 1.1% becomes 36%. Much more impressive on paper, much more persuasive to your doctor, and much, much more persuasive to you. Yet, what does it really mean for you and me? With millions prescribed Lipitor, driven by the allure of its 36% risk reduction claim, it's essential to question what these numbers mean in real life terms. The absolute risk reduction, the figure that arguably matters most to an individual's health, is modest at best. As we navigate the complexities of healthcare and medication, understanding the difference between relative and absolute risk is more than an exercise in statistics. It's about making informed choices. When you think there's going to be a 36% reduction in risk, you may be happy to accept the side effects of muscle weakness, diabetes, pancreatitis, and gastrointestinal issues, to name a few. But when you realize the reduction in risk is only 1.1%, then maybe you'd be less willing to accept the side effects of statin medications. Lipitor's story is a testament to the power of numbers and the importance of looking beyond the headlines to find the true measure of a medication's benefit. For a nuanced discussion on cholesterol and the real cause of coronary artery disease, check out the video on the screen now.